Hey fellow explorers, today I am in Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport and I'm in the D gate. I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what I can see and in this video, I'm gonna show you around this terminal or gate area. There are four different sets of gates or terminals in Dallas-Fort Worth. You've got A, B, C, D, and E. Sorry, there are actually five. I should be able to count a little bit better. One of the nice things about this airport is it's got a Skylink train that'll take you around to the different terminals. Uh, and there are generally about two different areas where you can go up to the Skylink trains. This is where one of the areas in the D gates are. This is right in front of D10. Uh, this is a really big airport, and so when you look at the flight board, there are tons of flights that depart out of here. The primary carrier that serves Dallas-Fort Worth is American Airlines. We just passed a Applebee's restaurant on the right. To my left, coming out of D11, is Aero Mexico. Many of the international flights uh, leave here out of the D gates. Now, one of my favorite things that I come over to the D terminal for is for the American Express Centurion Lounge, which is right here with this little blue square. Uh, actually, I was just there getting some food before filming this video. Pinkberry on the left. If you want a little yogurt pick-me-up, Starbucks over here. The security checkpoint uh, right here to head out. We've got plenty of clean restrooms. We've got the Texas local institution Whataburger, which is like if you want a burger in Texas, Whataburger is the one they are most proud of. You can get your currency exchanged for all those international trips you might be taking. And this is the actual security checkpoint into this section of the D gates. The other one that we saw was the exit. I'm gonna cut through this thing in the middle. The way these gates are set up is it's they're kind of like a triangle or something like that, uh, where these little commercial buildings that I'm in, there's like two sets of them on either side of the SkyTrain escalators. And so we'll kind of walk through it. Uh, we have the Coca-Cola around the world experience here. We got the Texas Folk Bottle. We've got art. We've got a uh, Coca-Cola vending radio machine, a Coke Zero robot. Max Hedrum, I was definitely a big fan of him back in the day. And I don't know, what's this computer thing? You can do like trivia challenges or archives. You can like play some Coca-Cola games here in the middle. And there's a little bit more art over here. I guess this probably was a uh, store that went out of business that they haven't had a chance to fill yet. Oh, and you can take like a, like a selfie here or something like that. Uh, maybe when I have a little bit more time. Some interesting blue artwork here in front of the D15 gate. Uh, what is this thing supposed to be? I don't know, as we walk in here, there's some lights on the floor and there's a sign down here that says, circling an urban musical instrument. And uh, yeah, there's like an echo in here, like, when I talk to myself, it definitely echoes a lot in the middle. So if you like echoes and you like some interesting contemporary art, check that out when you're in the D gates or get some candy over at Sugar Fona. Um, last time I was here, which was before the pandemic, uh, there were a lot more shops and restaurants open. Uh, you know, I'm guessing they've suffered here at this airport like they have at most others, just building back up those international flights so they can build the stores back up again. We got a Subway sandwich stall and a Chick-fil-A right there in the back. Uh, I would pick Chick-fil-A over Subway sandwiches. And then we've got a staircase up to the Flying Saucer restaurant, which is right up there. Uh, if you were gonna you know, select like the most picturesque part of this terminal or the best view is definitely up that way. This is kind of cool. There is a 7-Eleven convenience store in uh, this terminal area. So if you want to get some reasonably priced drinks, fountain soda, Slurpee, things like that, you can totally do that here. You can even get your shoes shined. And uh, though there's no shoe shine right now, how much does that cost? That usually costs $14 for shoes or boots. I'm gonna take a picture of this for my um, thumbnail for the video, and so I'll be right back for you. All right, there we go. I just had to get my camera phone out of my pocket to take that picture. No video is good unless there's a thumbnail you're gonna want to click on and I won't have time to get back here after I walk to the other side before I need to go catch my flight. 
we've got a little eye store over here in front of gate D21. Over here on the right, we have the B Relax Spa. You can get a massage, nail done. Uh, that might be a Priority Pass lounge. I haven't checked completely, but I know they used to be. There is a Capital One lounge here, along with the American Flagship Lounge. If you hold the Capital One Venture X card, that'll get you in there. We've got 360, which is a um, bar upstairs, and then duty-free shops downstairs. If you're in Texas and you're hankering for some barbecue, here in the D-Gates, they've got Hickory Barbecue, Texas Hickory Barbecue. Not too busy here at two o'clock on a Monday afternoon. We've got the next security checkpoint over here in the center. This is really kind of the central gates because D1 to 22 is to the left and D23 to 40 is to the right. This is quite a nice duty-free shop here in the center. All the makeup and cologne one could ever want, unless you wanted it from Chanel. And in that case, it's over in this store to the right. We've got uh, Minute Suites They're over here on the right. So if you wanna get like a private room for um, an hour or two or something like that, you can book them there. Mexican at Cantino Laredo, a Mont Blanc shop. If you want some expensive watches, luggages, or pens. The Long Champ store for some fancy French purses. The other Skylink station here in the D-Gates, but I'm gonna take us to the other escalator to take us up, because I wanna take you around this other little commercial hub here. The Coach store on the left, a Mac store on the right. They've got these little wheelie carts to help people uh, get around the airport if they can't get around themselves, because it is so big. Uh, and here we've got Diptyque, Joe Malone, London. We've got Brood Texas Cuisine. Uh, <clears throat> oh, and you can order, um, I think food, maybe? No, I don't know, what, how can we help you dine? I know like you can order food to go here that you can have like delivered at your gate. I haven't quite done that yet. So I'm not sure what those consoles are. Uh, if you're a regular Dallas Traveler, hit me up in the comments and let me know. We got the Great American Bakery Cafe. Sounds interesting. Maybe get some American flag cupcakes or something like that. Uh, in front of this security checkpoint, it's kind of nice. They got some big comfy loungers you can use probably to put your shoes back on if you needed to take those off. And we're gonna swing back over this way. I am here in December, hence the joy I walked through before and the Christmas tree over on this side. Uh, we've got the artisan market for soups or sandwiches. Up on the second floor, we've got the club at DFW, typically a priority pass lounge. Another Starbucks outpost, another in motion outpost. Uh, and there's another piece of artwork here, a big kind of like castle over in front of D29. That's pretty neat. And then this restaurant is quite a colorful restaurant. I'm just gonna guess Mexican by the look and the colors. I have not had the privilege of eating at all of the restaurants here in Dallas. Tex-Mex, of course. Not regular Mexican, but Texas Mexican. If you wanna try some Tex-Mex while you're connecting here, check it out there. Little McDonald's if you want your comfort Big Mac. Buffalo Wild Wings if you want some spicy chicken hot wings upstairs. And just around this way, we've got the Italian Kitchen by Wolfgang Puck. And we have the Univision Travel Store, which is interesting, uh, Spanish you know, television network that has a travel store. And it looks like it's got you know, the usual snacks, goodies, shirts, and even coffee back there. And that brings us in front of the D34 gate, back up to the um, Skylink train, which I'm gonna need to take to get on my flight. Further up this way, you'd find an Auntie Anne's pretzels, world news and gifts, and if you kept walking, you'd end up in the B terminal or B gate. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some of my other airport tours. Check out my tour of LAX or Boston right here. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in one of those videos.